Hey everybody, welcome back to WWE 13 Attitude Era Mode. We are back again with the Rise of DX storyline, and today we're going to be able to finish everything up. We're at 9 out of 12, so that means that we only have like three more matches left, so we're just going to jump in and do all of them right now. So let's try to hit 1300 likes for the end of the Rise of DX story and get into it and see what's left. The first thing we have up is a bonus match, which is Kane versus Mankind from the same night as the Montreal Screwjob. November 9th, 97, Montreal, Quebec. Survivor Series. After costing his brother The Undertaker the victory in the first ever Hell in a Cell match in a surprise debut, Kane continued to torment his brother and the rest of the WWE roster during the month leading up to Survivor Series. It would be this pay-per-view that Kane would make his official match debut. We have to hit Mankind with the steel steps, we gotta put him through the announce table, we have to hit him with the tombstone pile driver, and then we gotta beat him. So basically just whoop Mankind's ass. It's like they got a guy smaller than Kane to do Kane's walk. <laughs> the way this looks is so weird. Oh, they got the fiend lighting going oh, on. <laughs> oh man, that could be. They got the red joint. Yeah. <laughs> they got it all going on here. Okay. Cool. Well, we just gotta beat him up pretty good, so uh, I think we can do that with Kane. Hey, what's up, Paul Bearer? I was wondering why I see you, man. It's good to see you out there with your little tie. With your little tie. Now hold on, Mankind. My favorite thing about Mankind and Mick Foley and stuff, especially during this time, is whenever WWE needed somebody to go out there and look good, they'd be like, all right, Mick, you're up. Because Mick would just do anything you wanted to, you know, you could ask Mick to do anything. Like, hey, man, I think tonight uh, I kind of want to take you up to the top of the building, but with my bare fucking hands, I'm going to toss you off into a pit of spikes. And you're like, all right. And you do it. Hey, no oh, Paul that. Bear? Getting into the Here mix of things? Of the ring, and there are no Is Paul Bear beating match? him up? Oh, I thought he was beating him up. Hey, what's up, dude? Mankind. Ooh. Very crafty there with the Mankind reversal. with the reversal, eh? Let me show you something. Let me use. Paul, do something stupid. Oh, those steel <laughs> steps getting used now as a weapon. Sorry about that, man. Hey, man, you know how it is out here in the wrestling it business. You know how it is. You give me these steps real quick. Everything's got to be a federal case with this oh, guy. Like Did he hit me? Oh, Paul, I got to talk to you real quick, man. My taxes won't write, man. They missed a couple of things. Oh, I guess we'll talk after the show. I got his match. I got his guy worried, though. Oh, Paul said, get your ass back in the ring. Now, let's see if this works. Yeah, that did work. You gotta be kidding me. Yee! He's still not through. It's like oh, yeah, like the fucking 1080 stale, stair hit the there. Oh, All right, then that's fine. I'm about to give you one of these. Did he make him pay? Yeah. Now give you two of these, bitch. He's All right, now let's get out of here. Again. I got the steel Mind chair in hand. Oh, Jim Ross got the little hat on over there. What you doing over here, Jim? Hey, you're looking good. Hey, Jim. You're looking good out here tonight. You're looking good. Let me grab this chair for me real quick, Jim. Thank you. That's my spot, bro. Get a fucking chair. Now you get an unprotected headshot for that one. Come closer. Oh, yeah. Don't run away. Oh! He popped the chair out of my hand. If you don't get your collar and elbow tie up. Right here. You can pass that. All right, anyways, I swear to God, if you don't get your ass over here. Would you listen to this Snap, Mayor. Collar and Elba. <laughs> Bro, if you don't start bumping, we're going to have a fucking problem. All right? You're going to start bumping right now. Yeah, there you go. How one these? Yeah, DDT. Got me pissed off, man. I was in a good move a second ago. Now this guy's going to make me do all this. Make me turn heel like that. Look at this. Saito suplex. Yeah, you like that? Paul, you got a headache over there? Come here, you piece of trash. You're going to take these damn hits. Get your ass. Man, God. Collar and elbow top. Get over here, man. That's it. Yeah. All right, now it's time, man. Now it's time. Come here. Uh-huh. That's right, Paul. Sidewalk slam. You damn right. Now I got him, Paul. Don't worry. What are you doing? We got a match oh, going Paul and him here. having a little words. Why don't you get your ass on this table over here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's not what I meant to do. Uh-huh. All right, so now that he's up on the table. And now, well, apparently, very little of this match 
will take place. Uh oh, we might. Does this out. also count? It does. Cool. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, it's not a false count anywhere, is that I'll just pin right now. Probably should have made it false count anywhere, because that was really fucking dope. And now the match is going to end on like a DDT or something, because I'm a piece of shit. Back in the ring. Give me this damn chair. Move, Paul. Come here. Go ahead. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Man, Khan oh, thinks he's the big man in this match. I'm going to have to prove him wrong. Come here, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm gonna put you up on the top rope too. This is what Kane used to do all the time back in the day. See, Kane would get you and he would do a poison run off the top. Oh my god, okay, well that should end the match. Anyways, go ahead, ref, you can count that to 100. I can't believe I got a two count, to be honest with you. That's actually insane to me. Yeah, everybody knows back in the day, Kane used to be slapping out them snap mares left and right, baby. Throw him off the ropes. And yeah! You damn right. That's that Nagisa Nozaki kick right there. You can't just kick out of the ace's kick, bro. Paul Bear is taking liberties with the fucking ref. I don't even know what's going on in this I don't even do nothing. That had nothing to do. No, the ref had nothing to do with anything. I think Paul's just... A little antsy over there. I and understand. The it. I get it. Now right, here we go. My mask kind of looked metal for a second. Here we go. I'm gonna drop the damn. Oh, good Lord. Nothing. What a sick. <laughs> oh no! A chair. Anyway, oh, come on, don't do it. Yeah, shut oh, up! I do what I want. I'm Kane. Anyways, yeah, you piece of trash. No, bro. What are you doing, Paul? Wow, what a Man, his name was Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Get off! All right, DDT. Nobody That's a pin. That one. We got a cover. The mankind. Oh, is, this, is this? Mankind's is this? Is this? Is this right? The mankind oh, here. Let me put this here. This. No, oh, we're not going to stop any of this. Actually, we're going to. Keep it going. All right, so I'm gonna do. Let's see. I'm. A, and he's got a hold of that steel chair. And that attack was dodged. It, oh! Man, steel chair being used as a. <laughs> That's weapon. it. Okay. You've if you don't step back, you don't know me like that. Look out for yeah. Kane. See, check this out right here. Cool schlacks over there, Jim. Stand your ass up. Hey, he's going for it again. Sidewalk slam. And that's the end of the match. That's all you get. That's all you get. He's going Take it home. Kicks out at one. How and if you don't, do don't this again. I got to do a 180 on this. Oh, wrong direction. That's my bad. I meant to turn your feet away from the ropes. You know how it is sometimes, man. It's fucking rough out here. I can't see shit in this mask. Yeah, let me show you something. <laughs> yeah, let me show you something. Come on, man. I don't know how you're doing all that. I don't know how he does that. Anyway, springboard. That work? Where are you going? Yeah, there you go. That'll work. Anyways, Raph, go ahead. I'm going to hold his shoulders down. You're going to call this. This is going to be the Montreal Screwjob 2, all right? You already did it once tonight. Let's do it twice. I'm going to go to the top rope. I'm about to hit you with one of my ultimate maneuvers. I learned this from motherfucking ass Kinnikoo, man. I'm about to hit you with it. Yeah. That's my fist. <laughs> Hey! What's gonna happen now? I call that the glizzy bomb. Go ahead and stand back up. I don't know how that just I'm Kane. How am I even I anyways come here? Yeah, Kane see? Yeah. Alright, come here. Oh mankind felt that. I'm about to hit you with uh -oh. it. Oh, Kane could finish here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kane's about to finish. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna finish. Like he's trying for a pin here. Paul's up here all glistening. Here's I know it's hot. Damn lights. Yes. Anyways, let me do my fire thing. Mankind's busted all open. The people want to see more blood. They want to see fire, Kane. And here we go. Fire! 
<laughs> we have got the Fiend debut lighting in the Survivor Series 97 arena from doing that match. All right. Road Dog and Billy Gunn versus the Road Warriors. November 24th, 97 in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Hey, shouts out North Carolina boys. Billy Gunn and Road Dog had just joined forces last month and quickly began to dominate the WWE Tag Team Division. They immediately had their eyes set on the WWE Tag Team titles held by the Road Warriors, which means that this is the WWF dual-plated tag team titles. Oh, oh my god, they're so beautiful. Before the match, Road Dog came out and insulted the Road Warriors by calling them big pieces of trash. This match signifies another passing of the torch from the old WWE to the new attitude-infused WWE. This was also the night that Jim Ross would help inspire this new tag team's name. Oh, we gotta do quite a bit here. We have to win the match. When Hawk is legal, get his damage to moderate. He has to be the legal guy. Okay, that's a pretty specific. Hit objective, hit objective. Win by pinfall when Bill Gunn pins Animal. Hmm. Man, they look badass in this game. And look at those tag team championship. Oh man. I kind of wanted to play as Animal. <laughs> they just look, I mean, their models are dope in this game, and this is just Billy Gunn in blue tights. I want to play as Hawk and Animal. <laughs> this man's got the Mohawk mullet. The two lock up. This is dope, dude. Jockeying for position. Yeah, we are jockeying for position. Jeez. Let me go ahead and, yeah, we're going to go ahead and cinch that in real quick. You know, Billy Gunn's an old school guy himself. Billy Gunn with a That's right. Hey, we're going to a wrist counter. lock. Look at that. Going to a headlock. Back to a wrist lock. This is old school wrestling right here. Look at this. Front rolls, shoulder Perfect rolls. We got everything you could ever want here. Let me do my yeah. That's right. Wow. Made that up right there. That's my taunt, actually. Oh, he waited a little bit on it. He did not. Okay, let me show you this real quick. I said, yeah. Get the headlock in and we go on uh switch that over. Oh, wrist lock. Yeah. You like how that looks right there? I'm going to back to a headlock. But then we're going to turn to a wrist lock. Ah, keep him on the toes. You know what I mean? And then drop kick. <laughs> That's called storytelling, dick. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I went for the clothesline. He did not want to take it. How about another drop kick? Well, we said you should have hit me with that clothesline when you had a chance. We got the Michelin Man knee pads. These things go crazy. Yeah, right. Oh man, that's got to Yes, sir. You see that? The little mini jobs <laughs> and my butt cheeks. Oh my hey, come on, man! Let me do the damn butt the cheek table. thing. And the ref starts the count. The road dog, would you get out of here? My fucking ass wearing sweatpants. Get out of here. Now a shoulder tap. Ooh. Drop, he hits kick. The drop kick. From an incredible Where's he going? It's like he's lost. Are you good? Yeah, there, bro? Right his face. <laughs> here comes Billy Gunn. Look out. Here comes oh, Bill. Woo. From the sky. I'm feeling different. Yep. Oh, nice hip toss. The crowd goes crazy, man. How about another drop kick for you? You like that? Third drop kick's the charm, what they say. Whoop! God, this place is going crazy. They love Billy Gunn in the blue tights. Why do you ever switch from these? What is this? Oh my god! Pop driver! <laughs> you know, back in my day, we'd take it home. We'll do another pile driver, and then maybe you'll tag in my man Hawk over there. You want to get him in? I'm going to give you the chance to tag in Hawk. I'm just going to back up. Five, ten feet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a chance. There you go. What's He's up, big man? Up. You wanna run Here at me? Oh, man, you take a That's the Billy like Gunn that. special right there, weeks. man. You know how many matches I've seen that dude do that? That's the special of Billy Gunn. Might as well be a damn finisher. He pipes it off. Boom! Get one of those. Beat. They're tasty. This crowd lighting up for this right here. Snap mare. Give him a little oh, big elbow. around the head. Good. I might tag in Road Dog to be honest with you. Let's get Hawk over there. He doesn't say that I need to. Yeah, I can and use whoever I want, so I can use the Road he Dog. The tag. Look at this. Whee! They hit the double team. When I make a tag team in real life. I promise you that we will use default 2K WWE games, old school default tag team moves. I promise you. We're gonna oh do drop gosh. toe holds into elbow drops. We're gonna go, we're gonna do assisted cross bodies. I got you, man. Anything you want to see, I got you. I got a deck of cards. I could just pick from. Nice. This man's got the good haircut too. I don't know how I'm gonna to beat him. I'm just the road dog. 
You know what they say. Oh, nice I'm just a road dog. That That's how it goes. Let's get the wrist lock. This is my new combo right here. Go to the back. Back to a wrist lock. Oh, you see that? Oh, back to a wrist lock, though. Oh, maybe. Oh, he said wrist lock. To the back. That's my move. Oh, to the and back. Hammer lock. <laughs> see, I know what I'm doing, man. This is called wrestling. If we did that secret. Good Lord. Backdrop driver. We do that sequence right now. We get a This Is Wrestling chant. They love it. They eat it up, man. He's going to the top right the road, dog. I thought this man was going to break out Phoenix Splash or something. I didn't know what was about to come up. I thought the road dog was going to take a chance. D-O-double-G. we got to be close to getting this guy to moderate, right? I mean, he is a big dude. Oh, he reversed. I wish you could... I say it a lot, but I, I wish you could reverse reversals like that. But then again, probably go on an infinite sequence of moves forever. Especially if you play online. No, you don't. Oh, I got a signature too. Give me a little shimmy sham. Ski. Succeed at the WWE attitude moment. All right. Or maybe if we get him up, it'll start the attitude moment. Hey, buddy. Oh man. <laughs> Trying to get him out of the uh, out of selling, so he sells some more. There we go. Hit it. Oh, sorry, Ralph. I didn't mean to do all that, man. Oh, tag, and he's strike, hawk, yeah, I'll go get that damn title. Hey, I got the championship. Oh, shit. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> I still got the champ. Look at these championships. They're gorgeous. I can't believe it's not the World Heavyweight Championship, to be honest with you. Usually, this is the default title. Are you an illegal man? Am I going crazy? Did they tag? They must have tagged, like, right when I went to get the championship. They lock up here. Oh, we have to win with Billy Gunn. Yeah. Sorry, man. I'm all buttoned out, to be honest with you. Oh, Damn. Line. All right, anyways. Quick tag there. We got to beat you anyways, animal, so come here. He <laughs> Shit. How did I turn around? Did the camera just change, or am I losing my mind? What around. just happened? <laughs> that was so weird looking. Yeah, I don't know what that belt's doing in here, man. Someone just came in the ring and brought it in. Bullcrap. Thanks for getting it out there. You're being a good referee, and I respect that. Ooh, look at the strength of Bill. Just dropped him like a warrior. Into the baby chops. And then my butt cheeks. And here we go. The famous sir, and he's busted wide open. I'm going for. He's got him hooked. I tried to pin him. The strength on display right now. They picked him up. I don't know. We got a cover. What the? I have been played by the game again. That's it. Billy Gunn's pissed and he's going to the top rope to do Billy Gunn stuff. Of course he would use his butt cheeks. You know, I like people who stick to the damn character. Don't you tag out. No! This sucks. <laughs> Tag back out, man. I gotta do the, do the yeah. I gotta do the thing, man. Please look. I love you, but I really need you, boy, in here, not you. Oh lord! Don't make me press the buttons. I don't want to press too quick. Yeah, there we go. That'll do. Baby presses. Oh. Pretty innovative way to get out. Look at him block the attack. I didn't even get a chance to reverse that. Grappling to avoid that. <laughs> it's my turn. No, you don't. Right, let me show you something. We're going to go to a wrist lock. Ooh. You to this crowd show their appreciation for these See, man, when you get him in a headlock like that, you got to get perpendicular to him. If you don't get perpendicular, you just get behind you and suplex you. The only difference between a headlock and getting suplex is your, is your footwork, bro. What a collision. Oh, <laughs> he's been knocked to the oh my gosh. Turn yeah, well, I mean, they both got to be close to critical health here, so we should be able to beat. We just got to get my man out of here. Look, Hawk, I think you're cool. Your haircut's crazy. It's dope. But here's the thing, man. I need the animal in here. I think animal. Is he all right? Hey, can I go out there and check? Oh, there he is. How the hell did you get it? Can you tie yourself in? Or I do my little baby thing? And my butt cheeks. Damn it. No, road dog. 
Road dog, that's incorrect and not right at all. Come on, bro. Now I got this guy in here doing all this. Hip toss neck breaker. That's what I'm talking about. That's the way we like to do it back in the day. Now, I'm going to sit over here. I'm going to do my... Now, I might even do a little bit of my... Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. He said, damn, my head hurts. I'm going to tie my boy in. And guess what? His head hurts, too. <laughs> I'm out of here. Just getting him back in. We have a tag team finish? Oh, baby. I got tagged right back out, but we got one. Suggest he's going to That's it. Anyways, all right, Billy Gunn's back in. He's going for the pin. <laughs> Road Dog got to get in here because he's going to break it up. Or not. Maybe they just want to go home. I don't blame him either. All right, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Jim Ross, say the thing. The tag team champion of the world. Look at those sexy things, man. For doing all the objectives, we have got a bonus match from 98, and we unlock the Road War. Question mark, question mark, question mark versus Billy Gunn from January 12th, 98 in Portland, Maine. The New Age Outlaws quickly became the most hated team in the WWE, but their story career really took off after this brutal rivalry. A rivalry that started out on Monday Night Raw with the New Age Outlaws calling the WWE Tag Team Division a joke and inviting any singles competitor that has the guts to come out and face Billy Gunn. What they got was their worst nightmare. Perform a finisher on Billy Gunn and pin him in 10 seconds and win in four minutes. All right, a quick one. Billy Gunn with no kisses on his trunks. Just green. What does the road dog have to say? Portland, Maine, shut your mouths, you idiots. This is known to be true. There is no longer any competition in the tag team category in the WWE. So what to do? What to do? We're already the tag team champions. The only thing left is singles competition. So any of you guys in the back that think you're tough and don't just play a tough guy on TV, cue up your own music, stroll on down here, and see what happens. Uh-oh. Hey, I said one guy, not three. I don't think they're very happy about this selection. Well, Look at us at the worse. top of the ramp here. I'm coming on down. Well, I probably Gun shouldn't Craig. use all my stamina. I don't know if he has a lot of it. Anyways, I'm here now. Champion. Yeah, come on out. What's up, bro? We're being Boom. Oh. The road dog, so we have to beat him in four this minutes. And we're on hard now. difficulty. So that might be a little bit harder. We'll see. I'm going to do my... Oh, have mercy. Really soon. Hey. Come on in, Bill. The water's fine. You might have a finisher, but I don't care. Honestly, you could probably just like use it and then let me take it from you. That would be pretty cool. Cause then I could do the whole perform a finisher and pin you in 10 seconds thing. You know what I mean? But I guess you don't have to. DDT from Dude Love, baby. Got Road Dog on commentary over there. Hit him with the neck breaker. You damn right. Woo! Drop that big elbow, Dude Love style. I already got my gimmick. All right, well. And DDT. Well, let's go ahead and get that pin. I see that timer started. Is that going to be enough? Just one? Shoot. I'll give you that knee. I'm going to go back up to the top rope. My charisma's a maxed out stat statistic. Oh, we still got two minutes 30, unless he just starts going crazy, which he could, honestly, but I don't think so. The Memphis fist drop, that was for you, Jerry. Oh, wait a minute. Billy Gunn said, I'm going to show you my cock and my ass. Please don't do this, man. Oh, wow. I've never actually had someone just straight up listen to me like that. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Everybody should do that, to be honest. <laughs> it's a lot easier. Uh-oh. Whoa. Oh, he's not. Whoa. I'm dazed myself. I'm punching him. Punching so hard, I dazed myself. I know I did that. Woo. Woo. The swag. What's up? 
I'm a cookie type of cat. Uh oh. Oh, he didn't go for the famous or again? Ouch. Oh, he doesn't have it anymore. Weird. DDT one more time. I have my signature. Stand up, Mr. Bill. Oh, he reversed. Well, thank God that wasn't my finisher. I'd be in a bad state of mind here. Oh, he reversed my signature again. Yeah, who is this guy? Reverse this. Stop, puller. Leg snap. He's bleeding off the pile driver? Oh, we're about to get lit. I'm going to show you my wiener. I'm bringing it out, boys. It's coming out. I swear to God. Oh, okay. You're lucky. He stopped me. Come on, man. What are you doing? I still got my finisher, Bill. Do whatever you want. You chop block me. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you feel needs to be done. I'm dude love, baby. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's it. He's done. That's it. He's done. There's a cover. Here's one. Well, that makes things pretty uh, not good. We have 28 seconds remaining. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get my finisher back in 20 seconds. Hit it and pin him. And I'm going to try. Oh, I got it. Yo, if I can pull this off. If I can pull this off. If I can pull this off. Bro, get the replay out of here. <laughs> Looks like he's trying for a pin here. That's no way. There had to be. Where's the timer? There had to be no seconds remaining. Wow. Hey, and we got Billy Gunn. What's up, Bill? Oh, and that was it. That was the end of the Rise of DX. I, okay, cool. I definitely thought I did the math wrong. I can't do math. Well, there you go. That's the Rise of DX on WWE Attitude Era Mode. The next one we're moving on to is Austin 316. And that one's a lot shorter than the Rise of DX. There's only seven matches, but it might be longer because I think the first one is a Royal Rumble, so... We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. I hope that you guys did enjoy. Remember, if you did, leave that thumbs up, subscribe, if you guys are not subscribed, and I will see you guys next time when we come back with more of WWE 13 Attitude Era Mode. See you.